All right, guys, I, get, I think you're getting ready to see me frustrated again. This is a lock from Leif. And before we talk about it, I just got this in the mail. Just got it in an envelope today. And he got tired of waiting on me to open something he had sent probably about a month ago. And that would be this simple looking thing. And I think when you see the word ASA right there, you know I'm probably going to be in trouble. And when you take a look at that key, that kind of confirms it. I believe we're looking at 10 levers in here. I haven't taken it apart. I've got stuck on countless false gates inside of this thing. It is truly, truly a nasty lock. And I told him so. I didn't know when or even if I was ever going to be able to open it. So he sent me an easier lock. That would be this guy. Um, this is a bicycle lock. He says it was from the 1980s. And for those of you who haven't seen these, these are uh, usually mounted solidly to the frame on the back wheel behind the seat. Um, these, there are clamps, and I think the clamps probably went, based on the wear, probably right in here to clamp it to the frame. And then this guy right here, I don't know, here, take a look at the key. And right away, you know I'm going to be in trouble, not only because of the bidding, but again with the ASA. Look at that bidding on that thing. Anyway, the way it works, uh, you have this little shutter on the outside, a little weather shutter. So slide it all the way in. Now take note of this. Look how far that key went inside of there. Anyway, you turn it and then the thing flops down and then you actually lock it again. You push down to secure it in place like, come on, like so. And then you leave the key in it. And the reason it locks in place, when you turn a corner, you don't want that bar kind of flipping up into the spokes of your rear wheel. That can make a real mess. Anyway, you get where you're going, turn it, slide it up there. And this is really, really solid steel. Um, there's a hole right there that the plunger, I can push it, there you go. So you can see that it fits in there very, very solidly. Turn the key and then the key will come out. So very cool, very well thought out and a proven, proven design. Having lived in Europe for so many years, this was the bicycle lock style of choice. I've never seen one like this before. All right, my first attack, you know, when I got to looking at this thing might be to try to bend it. But remember, this is actually clamped to the frame. So that's going to really prevent you from prying this. My fir first thought was to try to jam something up in there and then pry it loose, but uh, that's not going to work if this is clamped to the frame. Plus, it's pretty heavy steel, and that probe sticks out probably close to a half inch inside of that steel that is not aluminum. That's solid steel, so pretty good design. Um, I do have one possible very quick access attack, but I don't think that's what he intended. I think he intended for me to pick this guy. So... Let's see what we got here. This is a spinner, and what I need is some way to tension this guy. Let me look inside of here. Let me hold that out of the way and just take a look, see what we got here. All right, I mentioned how far that went in there, and you know, that thing, it went all the way in. Let's see if we can get that aligned again. It goes all the way in that far, so let's pull it out. And that tells me that the lock is buried deep inside of this guy. So it's going to be hard to reach inside of there. There we go. That'll work. And I've got to figure out how to tension this because none of my tensioners are going to reach down that far. All right, I'll be right back. Let me find a, let me get a piece of windshield wiper insert. All right, piece of windshield wiper insert. This is the wide one. It just happened to be the one I grabbed. So let's go ahead and get started on this guy. I'm going to cut him right about, I don't need a two foot long piece. Cut him right there. We'll start with that piece. And what I'm going to do is stick him down in there until he engages in the top of the keyway and then measure how long it is. And that's where I'm going to bend him. Give myself just a little extra and then just Bend that dude over. Not pretty, but I think that will work. Let's put him in this side. Oh, wait a minute. I'll put the lock cam down inside of there so you guys can see and record it, but when you look at how this thing is arranged, I actually have to turn it counterclockwise, which is kind of non-intuitive. And I really wasn't paying attention when I turned the key, but it can only turn counterclockwise. There's a wedge sticking up there that'll, st and it gets caught on that protrusion on the top. So I actually have to pick him counterclockwise. So let's see if I can put him like right there. 
maybe right there, or maybe right there. All right, I'm gonna hold them like that, and I'm gonna hope for the best here. I'm gonna take this guy. It is a wafer lock, although it is an ASA, and then uh, put a light, light tension and then just kind of pray that the humiliation is not too bad. Let me flip them over and rake the other side. I got very light tension on the core. Because I've got a feeling being an ass out, this guy probably, oops, probably need higher tension than that, probably has false gates. Otherwise, I think it's part of Swedish law. Everything's got to have nasty false gates, and there's got to be a lot of them. Nope, that's not working. All right, I'm going to apply a little heavier tension so I don't keep pulling it out of there. And then I'm just going to basically jiggle it back and forth like this. Try the other side. Arg! All right, that's not working too good. I'll try it one more time, and then I'm going to have to try basically to get a long pick. I'll probably have to make one because the first inch and a half is wasted. And I'm not sure I have a pick long enough to reach to the back of this lock. You can see how far down the, the uh, rake is gone. All right. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of play in this guy. Let me try it from the other side. See if that makes any difference. Now that I'm looking in there, well, I almost said that it only has wafers on one side, but that would not be true. Arg. All right, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to pry very heavy tension and then just put it in there and then jiggle it back and forth. And there we go. All right, that's a little tougher than I thought. So very heavy tension to overcome the spring tension on those sliders. What a nasty, like it, the bike better be worth an awful lot. Because remember, these are going to be in like a, in front of a bus station or a train station. And there's going to be people coming and going all the time. So if you're standing there like I was trying to figure out how to tension it and, and you're constantly jiggling, you're bound to draw some attention. Anyway, um, there is one more possible attack that if this were locked, and let me use the key this time. We just put it, lock it back up. All right, so, and I think you guys probably spotted it. And that would be this roll pin, because when I was flipping it around looking at it, I thought that it would be blocked on the back to prevent the pin from coming all the way through. Now, clearly, it was put in this way, and so it would be, it's intended to be removed punching it from this side. But that's the side that probably is going to be up against the back of the bicycle and, of course, clamped into place. You're not going to be able to get there. So you're probably going to have to continue punching from this side. So I don't know if it's going to be possible. Let's see if we can ruin this video and have it fail, but I will try it. Let me grab a punch. Grab one that's probably, you know, about the right size. And let's just see if we can give that dude a couple of whacks. Let me find a larger punch. And a beater of the right caliber. And let's just see if we can... Drive that through there. All right, hold your ears. Here we go. 
There we go. I'm going to use the smaller one to punch it the rest of the way through. And let's see if we can remove that. Not yet. I need a longer punch. Yep. It's close. See if we can punch them the rest of the way out of there. Wouldn't that be a design feature? There we go. All right, so once this pops out, ha 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 ha, you should be able to pull it straight out, but obviously that's not going to work for us. So they did think this all the way through. Let me try one more thing, and that will involve some prying pressure. Nope. So there's a ledge in there that apparently prevents this guy from being defeated by punching that out. And there he is. Yeah. What a great design. Even when the, the pin is removed, it doesn't want to come out. You can only take it out once you have removed that pin and unlocked it. Anyway, there you go, guys. The 1980s lock. It almost got me, and for all intents and purposes, I guess in one way it did. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Life. Thank you for the lock, and I will continue flailing on this guy. And I wonder if it has a pin somewhere.